Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So I noticed Mr. Yeezy in the building is MIA when it comes to this Cardi B feature. No shade. He has not posted about it. He doesn't even follow Cardi B on social media, even though he follows like 7,000 people, including Mrs. Nicki Minaj. Um, but the fact that he did not um, once post about this song is kind of weird, considering that Little Dirk said this was the song of the summer. So you're telling me that Kanye West is not going to promote the song of the summer? Was he forced to collaborate with Cardi B? That's the question of the day. And the reason why I'm asking is because the fact that there's no music video, allegedly, even though they were caught filming in the Balenciaga store um, in January of 2022. And mind you, Kanye has a deal with Balenciaga. That's why they were filming in the Balenciaga store. And mind you, he has the worst verse on this song. It's almost like he didn't really want to participate. That's what it was giving me. It's like when you do a group project and you don't like your partners, so you don't do all the work, okay? You half-ass it. That's what it was giving. And then, you know, some people might say, well, he doesn't promote all his features, but he promotes like 99% of them, okay? Um, he was prancing around town with the game. A few months ago, after they collaborated, you know, when they did that music video of him harming Pete Davidson, um, the game was saying, oh, Kanye, he did more for me than Dr. Dre, um, but you're not going to put an effort with, you know, the hottest female rapper, according to a lot of people, and this is supposed to be the hottest song of 2022, according to Little Dirk. That's very interesting, considering he was promoting the game, you know, Pusha T. Now, Kanye hasn't been very active, you know, since the Kartrashians ran him off Instagram. But he did a post a few weeks ago in regards to Adidas making fake Yeezys, and then he deleted it. So it just seems to me that um, he may not have been interested in the collaboration. I don't know. And we also know that Kanye is fickle. Like, one moment he wants to do something, and then the next moment he doesn't. Okay? But... How you do a collaboration with Cardi B and it's trash, but you would not release the new body record. And, you know, that song is 10 times better than this. No shade. Um, so let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, it just seems to me like he really did not want to do the record. And that's just my personal opinion because he didn't put in a lot of effort. Where's the music video? He's not promoting it. He's basically acting like it didn't exist. But when he was prancing around with the game, he was promoting the game heavily. That's interesting to me. Maybe he will promote it later on. You know, maybe, you know, he's waiting to see how the people receive it. Moving on to Nicki Minaj, she makes history per usual. She is still the fastest female rapper in 2022 um, to go number one on iTunes and top 10 on Apple Music, okay? Um, considering that, you know, people always say that Nicki Minaj is washed. Oh, nobody's checking for Nicki Minaj, but she's still winning. 14 years in the game, still getting brand deals. Still topping the charts. And this is happening while the industry is still trying to push her out. And she's still winning. Okay? So, congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Moving on to Chloe. Um, she is going to be part of a new series, which is part of the Essence Fest. Um, it's called If Not For My Girls. Talking about black women friendships and bonds and things that, you know, black women go through. And she also will be doing this show with Justine Sky and Ryan Destiny. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm like, well, where is Normani? I feel like Normani should be a part of this. No offense to, you know, Ryan Destiny and Justine Sky, but um, Normani's a little bit more relevant than they are. And I just feel like it should have been Normani, Chloe, uh, maybe Summer Walker, SZA for the series. You know what I'm saying? It would have been a good look for Normani and Chloe to kind of come together, but I'm not really shocked 
because like I said before, Chloe and Normani are not friends. And then on top of that, my tea got confirmed about Chloe and Normani both being on Calvin Harris um album, okay? Um a lot of the features on his album are lackluster though. Um but it's going to be interesting to see if Chloe and Normani are on the same song. I kind of feel like they might be on separate songs, but it could be a possibility. Um I know that the industry wants Chloe and Normani to do something similar to The Boy Is Mine, like that type of collaboration Monica and Brandy did. Um, and that would cause a lot of controversy. And that's why they want, you know, um, Chloe and Normani to do that. But I kind of feel like Normani should have been a part of this Essence Fest um, series, especially if we're going to talk about what black women go through in the industry. Normani should have been a part of that. They dropped the ball. Doja Cat finally got her plaques updated and she earned 22 new certifications by the RIAA and Billboard. And now she has officially surpassed Megan Thee Stallion as the third most certified um, female rapper in RIAA history. Um, I believe Cardi B is number one and then Nicki Minaj is second, okay? So she could surpass them too because, you know, she is breaking all these records. And the reason why Cardi B is number one is because it's because Cardi B gets her plaques updated, you know, quicker than Nicki Minaj, unfortunately. You know, Nicki Minaj got four eligible diamond records that she has not you know, officially certified, which is partially her team and her label's fault. But, you know, Cardi B and Atlantic, they be on it. Um, So is Doja Cat and RCA. So, you know, Nikki got to get her stuff updated quickly. You know, she needs somebody on her team doing that. But congratulations to Doja Cat. I'm not really surprised because Doja Cat's been winning. Moving on to the queen of music. So it looks like, according to some prediction pages, the queen of music might go top five on Billboard um, this coming week. Now, she debuted at number 15 on the Billboard Hot 100 last week for Break Your Soul with only three days of tracking. So that was phenomenal. Um, And I think that Beyonce could easily go number one if she had a video. If she had... The Breaker Soul music video, she would have easily went number one, okay? Um, That's what's lacking. You know, she has the radio. She has the playlisting. um, She has the fan base. She's just missing the music video. And like I said, I've been very unimpressed with, you know, the Queen of Music's promotion, um, the art cover. I don't care what it symbolizes. um, It still was boring. Does the Queen of Music deserve to go number one? I feel like she does deserve to go number one. Um, I feel like, you know, the Rihanna Navy stands, they've been clowning the queen of music for years about her sales. And now she is playing like Rihanna. She's getting all this radio play. Um, you know, she's getting the playlisting. She don't care if you guys like the song or not. Okay. She's going to make this song successful. And I feel like she has that right. Even though I don't really care for break your soul like that. It's not a bad record. I don't care for it. Um, I think that the queen of music deserves to go number one because you know, she does put in the work when it comes to her vocal ability and she's been getting clowned for Rihanna surpassing her for so long. So I feel like this is her time to really show her sales and, you know, play the game like everybody else does. You know, Cardi B and Rihanna, they've gotten a lot of radio playing. And that's how you finesse the charts. So, you know, I feel like the Queen of Music should do that too. Okay? Um, I feel like Nicki Minaj should do that too. So let me know. Will you guys be streaming the Queen of Music so she can go to number one or not? Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.